Welcome back, this is Red Jupiter Gaming, and we are beneath the Stolen Lands in the Pathfinder DLC. And we're on a level designed by your passing Shoggoth interior designer. Lovely. So, let's see what faces us on this level. There's something here. Traps. It is done. No, 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 no. Cut that out. Excuse the use of the pause button. It is done. Better. Thank you. Let's try not to walk on the landmine. It is, I suppose, the limit of the no fixed now. isometric um Viewpoint. That is quite a discovery. And also that this is a rogue like game that's randomly generating the dungeon. You're gonna occasionally I get finished. the old squiffy bit of um floor zone. But it's fine. We got around it. More drow. Because of course there's drow. It's time to act. Now, who's the most dangerous? Fencer, spider, crossbow veteran. Let's get as close as we can to the fencer. <laughs> he says taking one step. You know, that's bang. This will hurt. No, nope, can't. Quit. You should have run. Meh. Strike with all your might. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nothing, because we took them out in one hit. Charge them down like the scum they are. Of course, scum based on their actions, not on any other piece of information. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that's a... Someone's getting fruity. I think you shouldn't stand for that, and you should hit them with, with a snowball. Or not. I promise you sorcerers get insanely powerful later. It's unfortunate that at low levels, especially in something like first edition D&D, &D, the mage was basically the guy who hold, held the lantern while everyone else was doing the fighting. That's interesting. What's interesting? Oh, ah. Thank Don't you. Don't hold back. Ooh, that's tricky. Am I going to activate the trap? Yes, I am. I'm going to have to come around here. And then flank across to the um, apprentice and hope that I get an attack of opportunity when he tries to do something unpleasant like cast a spell. Assuming, of course. Out of way. Nah. <laughs> Assuming, of course, Arabus doesn't cleanly cleave them in two. Ooh. Attack. You are tricky. He's down. Let's get a position for attack of opportunity. This will hurt. Nope. I doubt 
not going to get a charge because there's probably a great big bit of masonry in the way. Uh, let's do. Let's get the attack of opportunities. Same again. Wound. All right, so if I could just borrow the rogue for a moment. I am finished. Let us not Enter the shout of medic, medic. Nope, wrong character. I stand ready. Keep the last one because oh, as an additional on this level up, the pounding can now cure disease on a lay on hands, which is another awesome reason I to have them along. Uh, let's go for that. We should move, and then just as a an aperitif. Let's find one of those. Right. Let's see what they had on them. Mm, nothing terribly exciting. So. Onwards. Onwards. Follow me. This is done. It's a very embarrassing. Well, what do you mean you built a corridor there? Well, thought it'd be a good idea. It's not in the plans, damn you. Ah, well, there's the exit. However, as is traditional, we always check all the sections on the floor because you never know there might be that really fantastic bit of armor or weapon or some other item that will cinch it for us. And spiders, of course, there's always spiders. I am never wrong. Hit less. Ooh. Someone's cast a spell. Hmm. Okay. I'm probably going to pick the wrong alignment, but we'll give it a go. Let's go for evil. And we're going to delay him until quite close to the end. I don't like you. See, I'm tempted to delay. Yes, yeah, delay. Get them to come to me. Is there something else in here that's invisible? Oh no, there it is. It was hidden with the spider. We won't falter. Strike as one. Strike as one. Have a snowball! Crunchy.
You should have run. Ah, uh, no. Okay, let's just... Mm, yeah, I'll have to go for that, just because it's a cool effect. Someone spent time and effort designing it. Oh! And you can hear the gentle pitter-patter of someone's feet. Smear. You must have been either invisible or just hide. Ah! Invisible. Of course. Drown. Can. Ooh, do I want him to charge though? No, we're going to delay. Because I want my paladin to charge. These magics should be used in other ways. Do not hold back. Yeah. And then Do you know what we haven't used this? Let's use it. Oh well. Next time, eh? Crikey, gets a shot and a snowball. Ooh, now. Strike! <laughs> That's, that extra reach is devastating. Can't quite get there, so we'll do. Uh... Check that out. That's lovely. We'll get to that in a moment. Forgotten just how good hold was. Ooh. Our first belt. Now. In Pathfinder and all these games, a belt isn't just for holding your trousers up. A belt is an extra useful magical slot. So for example. In this case, these are belts of incredible dexterity plus two. What we've got to be careful of is is that our max dexterity bonus doesn't hinder the dexterity of our character. In this case, however, our dex bonus is plus four, but the adamantine chone shirt only allows us to get up to plus four. So, yeah, plus six, plus four. So, unfortunately, we're going to ditch that and then put on leather armor. However, you'll note that if I put it back on again, our armor class in the bottom left has actually gone up by a point because of our dexterity bonus. So it's all good. And then we're going to put the other belt of dexterity on. Nah, it's just, mm. He'll get one eventually. However, as we're using her as a bow or well, a missile weapon person right now we're gonna give it to the inquisitor because that gives her a plus one we've still got our max dexterity of four bonus so that's all good we can't give this armor to our mage or sorry sorcerer because they have an arcane spell failure rate and also he's not trained to use it so, with that all done, I'm just going to make a very quick save. Bear a moment. No 
stopping now. And then we're going to move on. Actually, no. We're going to have a break. What are you carrying? Nah, nothing too exciting. March on. Take care of it. All right, so it goes back to us. Let's see if we can sneak up. Well, I say sneak up as you charge towards them, fully clad in heavy armor. Well, actually. Invisibility. Now we'll risk it. We can do it. Nice. So this means I can now move my two-handed weapon user to try and take out these two at the same time. We shall overcome. Might not need to. Uh, try and get him in range. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, well, it's a nice idea. But something on the map is stopping me doing that. Let's go here. I'll split you in half. One is still better dead than none. Ooh. Well, fine. We'll charge you then. Don't hold back. That is how you sneak attack someone. I hope you, you've learned from this important lesson. Oh, you're dead. Whoops. Right, well, let's see what they had on them then. Less praying, more rifling through pockets, thank you. Just think we would have missed all this fun and games. No stopping now. If we'd have just gone through the door to the next level. More importantly, we'd have missed on all the XP. Which may have made us then less skilled to deal with the next level. a bit overkill. Out of my way. This will hurt. Have a snowball. Forward. 
words. Yeah, okay. I should have cooed a crowd him or something. Because there is a coup de grace option, again, something I never I used like you. in the RTS version of this. Oh. Rifle through their pockets. Wand of evocation. Well. That's going to be a very nice weapon for later levels. It won't work. Ah, oh, irritating. And unfortunately, unlike the original Pathfinder, you can't go back. So if you lose it, you lose it. Sorry. You should have rolled. You should have rolled higher. It's in the corner of this map. Oh yeah, I've missed something. Two-handed greatsword plus one, and uh, it's only got a two-foot melee range though. But we appreciate the thought. Thank you. Follow me. Yes, that's the loot I've missed. And that's the way down, so let's just move across to here. So, as my team makes its way to the next level, thank you for watching everyone, and this has been Red Jupiter Gaming. We continue our descent downwards. So, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. If you're indifferent to this video, please unlike it because YouTube loves interaction. And do subscribe, which I very much appreciate. You take care, and we'll see you soon. And goodbye.